Dear ladies and gentlemen, I'm Vivian Rizik and I'm going to exploit these five minutes to present briefly my work entitled by Analysis of an Elastodiscoplastic Model Describing Dislocation Dynamics. Dislocations presented by these dark lines are linear defects or irregularity within crystals. They can move when applied to stress field and their motion is one of the main explanations for plastic deformation. These dislocations are characterized by two vectors, the dislocation line X3 and the Burger vector B presenting the direction of propagation of dislocation. These two vectors enable us to distinguish between two types of dislocations through dislocations where B is parallel to X3 and edge dislocations where B is perpendicular to X3. In my work, I focused on edge dislocations where I studied in my first model, which is the gromic bicker laser model, the acquisition of edge dislocations on the boundary layer of a crystal subjected to stress. Our interest lies in short range dislocation dislocation interaction. Thus, we consider that the phenomena is embedded in a bounded channel having a finite width along the x1 direction and an infinite extension along the X2 direction. Considering straight parallel edge dislocations in a model which is said to be invariant by translation along the X2 direction allows us to have a full view by studying the mechanism along a cross section only, and therefore passing from the two dimensional space to the following one-dimensional, approximated, strongly coupled system of parabolic equations. Considering sufficiently regular initial data, together with the following boundary conditions, we were able to prove the existence of a unique solution up to a small time t, satisfying regularity in holder space. The second model, which is the Gromabalog model, also describes straight parallel edge dislocations and thus the three-dimensional model is transformed into two-dimensional model. However, instead of considering a bounded crystal, we are now interested with the long-range interactions focusing on what's going on inside the material and, uh, and away from its boundary. For this reason, we consider a, per a periodic domain which together with this change of variable enables us to transform the two-dimensional model to the following one-dimensional, non-local, strongly coupled hamilton jacobi system. Assuming the following BV assumption on the initial data, where BV is the space of locally integrable functions with finite total variation, we prove the existence of a weak discontinuous viscosity solution of the following system. This was my result for a particular Hamilton Jacobi system of two equations modeling the dislocation dynamics with unique direction of propagation. For multi directional propagation of dislocations, a previous result was done in the continuous non decreasing case of the following hyperbolic uh, system of D equation, where Vij is definite negative. However, in our generalization to a system of D equations, we consider the following nonlinear, strongly coupled system of hamilton jacobi equations, where the initial data is assumed to satisfy the following BV assumption, and the speed is uh, supposed to uh, be bounded and verifying the following non-decreasing assumption. This system can be used for applications other than dislocation, since in dislocation dynamics, a reverse monotonicity assumption is required. For this system, we prove the existence of a weak discontinuous viscosity solution in the sense of a particular definition of viscosity solution proposed by Ishii. Working with chromic zipper data model was, was not evident due to several points as the presence of singularity in the denominator, 
uh, also the non-linearity and the strong coupling of the system and dealing with the real physical stress field scaling as radical of Kappa X. And that, uh, that was uh, originates this work from the previous ones that were done considering a zero, a constant, or a bounded stress field. The main struggles that face our work with these two Gromadalov models uh, are the non-linear, non-local, strongly coupled system, uh, the presence of the absolute value and the non-strict monotonicity and the non-strict hyperbolicity, in addition to working with BV space, which is the space of discontinuous function, and dealing with large initial data. These struggles originate our work from previous ones that were done relying on continuous initial data with small total variation or considering strictly hyperbolic systems. Lastly, as process, I'm willing to prove the global and time existence of our approximated Gromag sequestration model. For the Gromag model, the uniqueness stands as an often problem in case of discontinuous data. For the generalization, I have started with a case where the speed satisfies opposite monotonicity, but this is still a work in progress. 